Well, hey there, happy October. Steve Montoya, Chris Stonebreaker. But before we get to October, let's go back to September. We have some amazing plays from this week. And always people, people, people use the hashtag MP Top Play to be on this year's show or maybe even a show that we're releasing tomorrow, Top 10 Plays of September. I guarantee you one of these plays at least will be on that show. a great show. guarantee. That's <laughs> better be. I guess we better get one in there. Here they are, the top 10 plays of the week. And we're starting it off with Michael Dukes, who's got a little jukes happening. There's one, there's two, and there's three, <laughs> and a little stiff arm for the fourth. And look at him kind of get into the end zone with a little move. He knows oh, he just did That's a little attitude right amazing. there. But if you do that, Chris, yeah. you have the right to walk into the end zone like That wasn't like poor that. tackling. That wasn't break. That was just no, great no, moves. Was Ankle bully CEO LaMelo, is that good enough to be for you guys? Now, play number nine, and this is low-hanging fruit here. I mean, we have a linebacker named Michael Boucher. Yes, Steve. Sure? Yes. Not Bobby, but still, water sucks. It really, really sucks. And they probably said that to him right before this play was made, where he intercepted the ball, bulldozed the opposition, and scored on a 44-yard INT return. Give that guy a jersey that says 48. Then he could play some <laughs> fullback for you, too. Get him some, uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, Michael Naismith uh, here with the sack. Picks it up and scores, Chris. That's doing it all from that linebacker spot with the blitz, knocks it down, picks it up, and scores. That I is a beautiful play there. I love that play, and I love the finish like the track star. I'm always a big fan of that. Now, Nyrell Sullivan of Sterling in Illinois goes 70 yards, breaks five tackles while getting slingshotted up the field where a teammate right here gives a nice block to free him for the last 15 yards, and you see the finish on that one. Once again, track finish, going through the line, finishing it, beats him by just the top of his head. Watch this, watch the finish. Boop. All right, that's cool. It's All hot. right, play number six right here, Kyle Franklin. And this is nice, because you think he's down right here. A lot of people think he's down, so they quit. He doesn't quit, play the whistle. And he, of course, is gonna go to the end zone right at us, right there, Chris. That's Mr. Franklin. And you can see right here, a lot of the defenders may think he's down. The play might be over. See the guy on the top of the screen oh, just geez. running by, because uh, he thinks the play's over, but it's not. Of course, Franklin breaks free. We got a nice view here coming right at us. Play number six. Always love the guy at the end trying to dive at the end. <laughs> now play number five, man coverage and Curtis of New York QB. Quincy Barnes recognizes it. So what does he do? He throws it back shoulder to Ahmad Anderson. Makes an amazing one hand catch. All right, in our fantasy league, this would be 12 points for Zach Merrill because it's worth <laughs> six if you throw one and you catch one. So watch him here. He throws it, it tips off the receiver. The quarterback's gonna come back and make the catch. So he's in the end zone. That's 12 points in our fantasy league. You could use it because your quarterback just went down for Oh, Derek points. Carr, I'm sad. Now play number three, Matt Strong of Pacific in Missouri has a strong run at play number three and a strong candidate to make top 10 plays of September. Very strong. Will it? Now Matt uses the momentum to make the defender fly back, but he also uses a nifty spin move, strength, balance, and breakaway speed to complete this 80 yard TD run. Now also one of my favorite parts, like I said earlier, I love the dive attempt at the end of that respect to the defender. Yeah, and I love that you use the word nifty. All right, Jake <laughs> Ryan here in the back corner of the end zone. Speaking of back, he kind of pins it on the back of his helmet, pulls it in and makes the catch. This is a great angle right here just to kind of show off how amazing that catch was. That's play number two. Play now number play one. number one, Jalen James, a five foot four running back here. He plays wide receiver of Acadiana, Louisiana, gives us the top play of the week with this 75 yard one hand TD catch in between triple coverage and a double tackle attempt that might've just kept him on his feet. He goes in, Acadiana in Louisiana. All right, top 10 plays of September coming out later this week. Number one will make it, I guarantee you that. All guarantee. Right. Number two might make it, we'll see. But the top 10 plays of September dropping this week, man, that's gonna be good. I am Chris Stonebreaker. This is Steve Montoya, and thanks for clicking into MaxPreps.com, America's source for high school sports.